If your furnace isn't working for whatever reason, I'm going to show you how to diagnose the fault codes. You just need to look through this sight glass and we're going to count the LED blinking red light. So if you're looking at the furnace, down towards the bottom there should be a little sight glass right there. So as I bring in the camera up close, you see that red blinking LED light? You need to count how many times that's blinking. This one is flashing four times. And I'm going to show you how to diagnose this issue. Straight into the sight glass and count the LED blinks. It's going to be some fast blinks with a pause. It'll be like one, two, three, fast. It'll be a pause. One, two, three, pause. So that's going to give you the number of the fault code. This one has four flashes, so it's fault code number four. So we need to remove this lower panel, and I'll show you where the, the diagnostic chart is. So to remove this panel, you just turn these turn locks, pull this lower panel out. 90% of the time, the diagnostic chart is going to be on the back side of this panel, or it will be on the very inside of the bottom of your furnace. So on the back side of this furnace panel, it's going to give you a full electrical layout of your furnace. It's going to tell you where your flame sensor is, your upper limit switch, your igniter, the two stage. It pretty much tells you everything you need to know. And over here is going to give you the list of diagnostic codes. So we'll take a look at those next. So there's the diagnostic codes. Now if you look over here on the left side where it says four flashes, it says open limit switch. So that's the issue with this furnace. That's why you count the flashes and you can just look along here all the way up to 10 flashes. It tells you different things about gas valve, low flame, open circuits. This way you can save yourself a lot of money. And now I'll zoom back out and we'll come over here to the electrical diagram and find the limit switch. So if you look over here on the electrical diagram and you look right here, that's the limit switch. So that switch right there is going to be our issue. Now that is a limit switch that tells the furnace if it gets too hot it will cool itself down. It's usually an open and closed switch from like 150 degrees to 180 degrees. So I'll show you where that is on the furnace. I have the upper cover removed. That's the gas valve right there. And that upper limit switch was directly above it. So if I bring the camera in up here kind of close You'll see right there, you see my finger coming in, is the upper limit switch. So that's the issue. We're going to need to remove that switch and replace it. So I've got the old limit switch out, I've got the new limit switch in. I'm going to put the two covers back on and see if that LED light goes out. I replaced that faulty switch, installed both covers, I turned the power back on, and the furnace is running. Now, whatever your fault code is and whatever your repair is, uh, you need to let the furnace run for about 30 seconds and then check your LED flashing lights. If you just put everything back in, turn the furnace on, the LED light is probably going to stay lit for a good 20 to 30 seconds while it does its diagnostic checking of itself. Once the burners go on and it starts blowing, that LED light should go out. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this one and see if that fault code is gone. As you can see, there's no more red LED flashing light. A service call like this to a repair tech can cost you somewhere around $250 in my area. If you follow along in my video, fix your furnace yourself, save yourself a lot of money. Hope you found this video helpful and informational. Thank you for watching.